Welcome to the Loaded Launch, episode number one. This is uh, a series of financial weekly wrap ups, and I do the kickoff with a KRC20 special. I have something to drink here with me, and uh, it really is going to be a relaxed talk about several aspects of a certain topic or whatever happened uh, in the l- last period, last week mainly. And um, well, this time I'm going to talk about everything KRC20 of the Caspa chain or DAG. So um, here you see what I'm going to talk about real quick, the rollout, then so that's the good, then the ugly, the bugs, scams and hacks. Then I'm going to talk some KRC20 meme coin investment results so far. Uh, the ecosystem and the telegram bots they really deserve uh, some extra attention so let's see if i can move it further and if i do it like this i can also uh, let me see make notations so if i start here at the bot uh, at, uh, at the top the rollout it was super successful i dare to say also with a full uh, mempool with over uh, 100,000 or even 140,000 um, uh, transactions uh, waiting in line and it really 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 went uh, without any issue so heads off for uh for caspa really it's it's unbelievable that a proof of work coin is doing this it was really a flawless execution so it's a big big plus it's it's really incredible it's really history that we have been witnessing history in the making history has been made uh but Aside from that, there were also some growing pains with uh, the exchanges and the temporary high fees. But let's let's just see. Um, uh, to start off here, uh, um, Micro Weller is his ex account. He posted this nice infographic uh, showing the 24-hour recap. And uh, well, there were 13 million transactions on this proof of work block deck blockchain block deck and uh, with an average transaction per seconds of 200 and i think it was even higher than that Uh, the maximum is is 300 and um, well it often was reaching that 300 um well as i just told the mempool had 140 transactions uh reached as the maximum 140,000 i mean <laughs> um so that is huge and the fees that were paid in caspa was about 21 million caspa and if i take out a calculator on my other screen for a moment let me see 21 times 17 cents that is over three and a half million usd paid to the miners and the fun thing is that everybody who i saw really sometimes it was a little bit uh, uh, irritated but almost everybody was happy for the miners <laughs> they paid it uh, with love <laughs> so it's good it's good uh, the, the it's really n- still a community a sense of community and we all are in this together and that is the feeling and we hope the miners uh, will have enough to keep uh, Caspa running. And with this, I think, and I saw also others uh, post about it, also some uh, miners, they say this is really making Caspa for the long, for the long run. Uh, that it, that um, how do you say it? Uh, that the finan- that the financing of the mining and the securing of the chain that is now uh, with this uh, is a certainty that it will happen so that is re- really really good then um over 80,000 unique addresses 
moment. So, uh, participated in the KRC20 launch. That is really a big amount. And over 100 and f or yeah, over 156 KRC20 tokens were launched. Uh, also, some of the Solana boys I saw already uh, when I saw the ticker names. I was uh, shaking my head, but luckily also a lot of good projects and uh, fun projects, mainly uh, with the meme coins on Caspa. I will talk about those later. And also um, from Shai. Uh, he wrote about the consensus layer uh, and he, he said the layer one of Caspa was giving a legendary stress test. Yes, and possibly the largest in POW history, proof of work history. Well, it, it should be. I have never ever heard something like this being done before. And he stresses the word organic because, yes, this was organic, this was real people doing real transactions all at the same time and um, beating Ethereum. And it is really, really, really impossible. At least it was thought to be impossible, but now with Casper it has become reality. Then the peer-to-peer -peer layer, he says similarly, the network handled the loads very well. So, um, Everything, everything just went smooth. Also with Mempool, he calls it the real star of the show. Yeah, because it's it's all incredible what's hap happening here. So it was a real super successful launch of the KRC20 protocol. Um, yeah, also the conclusion is that the entire Layer 1 proved god tier performance and resilience. And that is very well written by Shai. Then some questions came also about the high fees. Well, um, we see here Casware. Um, well, I, I will talk about that a little bit later, but I have lost my um, trust in that software. So, yeah, but uh, that, that's, that's just a, a stinge on, on a very, very good, very successful uh, launch. So I think the Casper team can be proud and also the Casplex team can be proud. Really, really well done. Then we go, well, to the bugs, the scams and the hacks. Uh, we just had the good, now we go to the bad and the ugly. Well, Casware, really, really, I mean, the lost funds, because uh, without becoming too technical, um, what happened is that the funds that should return to the owner, they went also to the miners. So if you spend, say you have 100, you want to spend 20 and you want to keep 80. From what I heard, it went, uh, it happened that those 80 also went to the miners. So you lost everything really. Um, well, the high fees, we just discussed that. And I can only uh, summarize it that at least my personal situation the trust is gone in that software and i'm not using it anymore especially because i saw that those lost funds was due to a bug that was reported two months earlier already so or 80 days even something like that with the first uh launch beta launch um so well this is casware if you use it you use it i don't well, then the, the, the scams, Casp Desk, yeah, really, um, they tried to, and it, it, it really happened. I even made a, uh, how do you say it, uh, a video uh, on them. Uh, they were collecting money through the Solana chain, and people were actually sending uh, Solana to them. So, but that was just a, a scam. And also now the infamous uh, Katie. X swap with a pre-sale, they managed to get 
at least six hundred thousand dollars from people and then they went this one is gone and then they went offline so really really sad really sad i i, I saw somebody saying he would uh, pour in his uh, his savings and i checked there were multiple people who were putting in uh, amounts over 20k and 30k usd i'm talking about so uh, this really hit those people hard but also the smaller uh, um, buys i mean for some people especially in certain countries like uh, 1000 usd is a lot a lot of money and maybe they have put it in as well and uh, thinking it would be a good investment and support uh, uh, and in support of the caspa ecosystem and then it was, it was gone but then it's so important to do your due diligence and i must be honest there were red flags i personally i i didn't know what to make out of them they didn't seem uh, professional enough uh, at least way it was not far it was totally not good enough to put money in it i could not tell that if they were a scam or just incompetent i thought they were just like incompetent and they were trying uh, yeah but still uh, aspect of course uh, he uh, also published uh, about it and uh, i think he did good um, and too bad that people still fell for it and even after he tweeted about it or posted on x about it but still very very sad then um these two messages um i did not see this personally but i did hear about it and uh, a day later i uh, saw this uh, post uh, please i'm not going to talk I'm not going to repeat everything. If you want uh, to just pause it and, and, and read it. Uh, but to make a long story short, people are being hacked. Their browser is being hacked. Uh, the hackers get control over their social accounts and they sp spread more malware and can take over more social accounts. So if you think that your friend is sending you uh, a link uh, that you can trust, in fact, it's not your friend anymore. It's the hacker who sends it and he wants to trap you. He wants to hack you and he wants to get your money. Then uh, also a false link about the uh, the bots, the Telegram bots. Um, also sending people to the wrong uh, address, to the wrong bots and making people lose their money. Also very, very sad. Uh, I only heard it uh, about it, rumors about it. I have not seen it both, but uh, um, yeah, well, uh, luckily it was not that widespread, but still, it's sad that it is happening. So that is that, or well, <laughs> look, to summarize, the Caspa ecosystem has been very, very good and very, very tight, and people meant well did well but now it's time to wake up and understand that caspar with the krc20 uh, protocol is open for everybody who can do anything that they want including stealing money from you and me and everybody so be careful take good risk management uh, measures like cold storage don't just click on any link stuff like that do your due diligence where you are investing in the project just become better as a crypto investor because you cannot control the others you can control yourself investment results well i had several i just here made a an overview uh, of the, the, the these I want to discuss I did it here and the green ones were the ones I bought myself uh, the, uh, the one in white I also did a small uh, calculation so I just put it in for those who did invest in it um, the fun thing is that 
this was the price we paid for it, not including the priority fees. These were the standard prices. And I checked the peak prices that are, are have been paid. And here you can see the multipliers. And I have ranked them from the most profitable to the one, I wanted to say least profitable, but uh, Castor actually uh, was in a loss. I myself uh, also had it, but luckily it was my smallest position. I only bought it just to do a little test uh, because uh, it had a, um, a, a kind of whitelist thingy and I thought, well, I just buy a little bit so I have it uh, just for fun. Uh, so it, 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 I must say it was so little amount that the airdrop I got from Fast and I got twice uh, an airdrop this was a, um, a lot more already, so it did really, for me personally, it was not that bad. But if you see, it is interesting to see that with this meme coin, people have lost money. But if you are looking then to the cash bot, which I had, had uh, I sold everything already of the cash bot. Um, but... The, <laughs> Like in a few days' time, you had the multiplier of six. It's unbelievable. But then, when you go to GOAT, Caspar, Nacho, and really the GOAT <laughs> is Casper, had a multiplier or of 87. So just let me... Oh, this is happening all the time today i don't know why but yeah let's go cashbot has a six goat 25 caspar 36 Nacho 40 casper 87 more than the double of Nacho. and the fun thing is Nacho get all the attention because Nacho has a higher market cap but that does not make it the best investment no as we can see, Casper has been the best investment by far. So if you are investing in meme coins, you also do it for the fun, but more even so, f I think, for the profits. So the people who bought Casper really made a good uh, profit so far. Well, the airdrop, um, for some reason, I got it twice. Uh, and it made me uh, here you see my sell uh, uh, revenue my sales revenue and it was uh, almost exactly uh, 100 dollars just over it um, in caspa of course but uh, if i calculate it with the 17 cents that's just over 100 dollars so thank you fast for free money um, and i'm going to do i'm going to buy crisp crisp <laughs> Crapstar, or in short, crap. I'm going to buy crap. I'm going to buy crap tomorrow. So, um, if you haven't heard of it, check it out. It's really fun, really, really well thought uh, through uh, the, the whole storyline. I think I'm going to make uh, a video on it uh, w uh, after the sales. Then the ecosystem. Uh, let me get something to drink first. One moment. Yeah. So, the ecosystem. Well, there are some, uh, after the, the higher fees and the KRC20 launch, um, some uh, exchanges have temporarily disabled their deposit and withdrawal functions. Like, for instance, Maxi and KuCoin, uh, there are more, um, I just uh, because uh, those two are very well known, uh, just wanted to mention them. There are others uh, who have no troubles or have already uh, restarted uh, the functionality. So I'm not sure why it's taking so long with those that are still having it uh, disabled temporarily because there's not really uh, a reason to at this moment. But maybe they just come together once a week and make decisions. It can be something simple like that. 
then another thing um, is that I saw that CUSDT is also on the Caspar chain right now. Uh, you can also check it uh, here by or, or, or if you are on this page, just uh, scroll down and you will find uh, CUSDT, uh, which should be a version of Tether. So that's all I have seen. Uh, also that you can buy it on an exchange. I should have put a, a, a screenshot of it also here. But it is said that uh, you can buy CUSDT, so a stablecoin, on Caspar, on the Caspar chain itself. So very interesting. I'm going to read more about that. Uh, then, uh, well, here you already see it. Uh, um, let me zoom in a little bit. This is uh, cas.fyi. Uh, for your information, <laughs> uh, it has now a list of all KRC20 tokens. So that is very, very nice. Uh, let's see. And also, um, there is somebody, uh, Ethermat, who is manually updating a Google Sheet. And uh, very well done. Uh, many people have used it. I have myself used it as well. Thank you a lot, Ethermat, for this uh, labor that you are putting in. It, you, just that you know, many people have used it, and it's really, really uh, proved to be very uh, handy. And also the, in the ecosystem, there are the Telegram bots, which I gave a page of their own, an, or a frame of uh, their own, because they have done... Um, extraordinary well and have proven to be uh, crucial for the success of the KRC20 protocol launch. I think without these two, um, it would have been, yeah, we, 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 we just, yeah, well, I know, <laughs> we just would have had the, the, the tokens and there would not have been a secondary market. So thank you, the, the Casper bot on the left side. Uh, you can see here also the link. Let me zoom in a little bit. And there uh, you can also uh, start, press button to start the right one. And also the croc bot. And uh, both are very, very useful. I personally um, have different uh, reasons to use them. I do the trading mainly on the Casper bot. So I, I, I trade using oh, using this. And uh, because of this function, I have full control uh, over my wallet if it is in here. So this is where I store my tokens. So here I buy and here I store um, yeah, it's hot, uh, but uh, if I have, I have had also already some profit in Caspa, the Caspa I sent to the cold storage, so that's gone, but uh, some tokens are still there, and it's just waiting uh, for a better solution. Uh, talking about that, um, I also have been in talks with uh, people who work, uh, who are working on exchanges, uh, central or decentralized, both versions. And it appears that it is not, uh, it's, it's harder than just adding another uh, Ethereum uh, token. Uh, this is new tech that needs a little bit longer development. So uh, we have to stay patient and, and uh, and wait and see what uh, will happen. But uh, until that day comes, we do have these Telegram bots that prove to be very, very useful. So thank you to the makers, uh, to the founders of the bot, the people, the, the admins, uh, that they are around. And with this, I, I want to wrap up 
this first um, um, how do you um, say it this this first presentation this first talk uh, of the loaded launch and i hope to see you next time next week and or just subscribe to see all the other videos i will be making and uh, i almost forgot i also have a patreon for a very cheap price even for free you can join uh, to see the discord uh, the general channel in the discord and i hope i see you there also give a like uh, subscribe here and see you next time have a great day